Ken, anyone who has worked with adolescents knows that there is a capacity for joy, but I presume there is some capacity to, for joy across the entire life course, sure. from children all the way to seniors. Yeah. In your experience and in your studies, do you, do you think there's something uniquely open, a uh, potential that's uniquely ripe among adolescents to experience, to express, to cultivate joy? Well, yeah, I do. I think that there's part of it is because teenagers are emotionally unfettered in ways that adults are not and children have not really matured to the point where they can reflect on their emotions in the same way. So there's this unique um, combination of openness to um, strong emotions of all kinds and also a readiness to reflect on those emotions and what they might mean. Um, and so it's, it's no surprise, you know, since G. Stanley Hall, people have, who have written about adolescents have talked about their particular, um, you know, highs and lows, you know. And sometimes that's considered turbulent, and sometimes that's just considered part of embracing the human experience. But the fact is, in adolescence, we don't have the same kind of um, defense mechanisms that are really finely tuned. We're not really as, um, we're highly self-conscious in some ways, but we're not so concerned about other um, influences that might cause us to be more standoffish about strong emotions at other parts of our lives. Um, and this is, it's often associated with the spirituality of adolescence, that this openness, you know, this ability to, with, to withhold a barrier between myself and the other also means that we don't have much of a barrier between ourselves and the other, God, um, in the same way that we create those barriers later. So yeah, there's a, there is a distinctive openness to joy. Along with that, there's also a distinctive openness to despair. And so the payoffs and the risks are, are higher. Um, and I think the incidence of depression during adolescence probably suggests that you know, there's this openness to joy also has the shadow side, that it's an openness to all sorts of pain and suffering and a particular alertness to the emotional makeup of not just ourselves but of others and um, kids are kind of they kind of absorb all of that uncritically um, and um, because it's uncritical it has a really strong effect uh, so it would be really hard to have a long discussion about joy without getting to the adolescent and the experience of joy during adolescence both as you know an organism but also as a spiritual being who's coming to understand who it is that they've been created to be